All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I like to have the Sony A6700 set up for sports. Now, notice how I have it in aperture priority mode and not shutter priority mode like you might think. All right, so the camera is still set up at default here, so it should be the same as your camera out of the box. So this is what I like having set. For the autofocus area here, I have it set to zone. So you can see zone focus there. Notice how I have facial recognition turned on and I have the autofocus subject recognition turned on as well. So it's set to humans and it's on. Now I also have touch tracking selected, so depending on what subject I'm shooting, I might want to touch the screen and track them, like if someone's running towards me or something like that. But in general, I tend to just use zone focus and the camera picks up what I usually want. So I have that enabled though here as opposed to touch focus. I also have the white balance hard set to daylight, which is normally what I'm doing when I'm shooting sports, unless I'm inside a gymnasium or something, then I would have it set to the fluorescent lights that are currently lighting the uh, gymnasium. But that is always hard set. All right guys, and then of course, the last setting that I'm gonna set here is the autofocus mode. So I'm gonna set that to continuous autofocus to allow me to track moving subjects. That's what you wanna have that set to. So, all right, so as far as drive mode goes, I have it set to high speed continuous. I don't have it on high plus. I tend to use high speed continuous instead, unless I'm trying to capture somebody swinging a bat or something like that, then I would have it on high plus. If you go into the menu and you go into shutter here, and shutter type I have set to mechanical shutter, so I like having mechanical shutter set when I'm shooting sports. Now here in exposure, what I like to do is I like to have the ISO auto minimum shutter speed set. So this is how I control my shutter speed. Instead of using shutter priority mode, I use this ISO auto minimum shutter. Now, depending on the sport, I usually go for 500 or 1000, like I said, depending. So that will automatically set the shutter speed to one one thousandth of a second and allow me to control the aperture. And if you're in shutter priority mode, the aperture might fluctuate around to get the shutter speed that you want. Also worth noting is the ISO auto range. I have that set to 12,800. You could raise that up if you need to, if you're not able to achieve the shutter speeds that you want, depending on the lighting conditions you're in. So I prefer doing it this way. And uh, that allows me to get the shutter speed I want and I get to control the aperture, which I really like. All right guys, so just a few more settings here. I just wanted to show you. So right here, I have it on balanced emphasis. I also have this on balanced emphasis. You can change this uh, to AF or release if you want, depending. Um, I have not experimented with this, but I've never had a problem using balanced emphasis. So that's why I'm just leaving it on that. Now tracking sensitivity. All right, so as far as tracking sensitivity goes, this is something you're gonna really wanna play with. I usually use uh, three or two, but in this case, if I'm just tracking Jace coming towards me on a bicycle, I'm gonna want it locked on him. So I am gonna put it on number one for locked on, and that should definitely do the job. Aperture drive, I'm gonna put on focus priority. Yeah, I got that on, AF, AF display area on, phase detect I have turned off. AF movement amount, standard. Subject rec recognition frame display, I have that turned on. You could also program a face in here if you want to, and it'll be a little bit more accurate tracking your kid. And I actually tend to shoot raw quality as well as opposed to JPEG, but if you shoot JPEG, you could definitely get a lot more photos before your buffer fills up when shooting sports. That about wraps it up. Those are the settings that I have set here on the camera, as you can see. I hope that helps you out, and uh, I will catch up with you guys next time. By the way, in the comments, let me know how you like to have your camera set for sports.